Norway? Of course I'm still in Norway. What do you mean? What's most Norwegian food I can buy from the supermarket here? I'll simply show you. Oh wow, pizza grandiosa. It smells like a cat food, but it smells like something sweet. Are in a tube? I never did it before. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Anna and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to try most traditional Norwegian food you can find in any local supermarket. In May, it's going to be one year of me living in Norway. And guess what's the most popular question I'm getting from my family, from my friends, and also from my society on Instagram. The question is, what is the most traditional Norwegian food Norwegian people love so much and also associated with their childhood? If you never tried any of this food, you cannot say that you've ever been to Norway. Attention, we're not talking about nutrition here, we are talking about Norwegian food and snacks you have to try when you're in Norway to all my Norwegian friends. Guys, I'm going to be open-minded but honest at the same time. And if I don't like something, I will be using my pig bowl. If I don't like something this much, you will see me doing something like... <sighs> it will mean I cannot tolerate it. So today I prepared for you a selection of three courses, Norwegian snacks meal, some starters. As the main course, I will show you something also very famous in Norway. And for the dessert, we will have some Norwegian sweets. You like sweets, kids? But first of all, I will open this bottle of local drink soda. I have two options, the one without sugar and one traditional one. Let's start with traditional one. It tastes actually really nice. It looked like Fanta to me at the beginning, but I can tell that the taste is different. That one is nice. I feel like after this video, I will need at least two weeks of zero sugar diet. That is diet. Let's start with our Norwegian starters. This guy is called Knekkebrot. I'm so sorry about my, my Norwegian straight away. It's not existent. Yay, selection of Knicke brought. I like this little Norwegian flag. So, Knicke brought, which is traditional Norwegian bread. Crispy bread. And also, I have two super interesting tools. This is a cheese slicer, which was invented in Norway by the carpenter. This cheese slicer was invented by Thor Brockland, Norwegian carpenter. It's one of the presents Norwegian people giving to their foreign friends and colleagues. Now, you see, I have to. Ta da! I have two local cheeses. One is Jarlsberg. 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 Okay, I hope one of those is correct. Of course, it's great. Uh, Brunost. As far as I know, that Brunost is the most traditional Norwegian cheese. It's made of goat milk, which was boiling with a very high temperature to make like caramel color. Let's start with the most traditional one. I'll try Brunost first. Wow, the color is really cool, but it smells like something sweet. Are you sure this is cheese, guys? Right, if I break one, I have an extra one, just in case. I never did it before. <laughs> Shall I go right, left, up, down? Oh, it's working! Is this supposed to be like this? It's actually really good. It feels like a combination of soft cheese with a hint of caramel. So I would call it Caramel goat cheese. I like it. Next one is Jalper. I'm so sorry about my pronunciation. Let's try this one. Oh, it works much better the second time. I'm becoming a professional cheese slicer. Actually, it's a cool device. I will consider this one as a present for my friends and family. For well, this cheese, Jalper. You don't even need to have any bread. It's so tasty on its own. 
This is so good, guys. This is really tasty. Wow. Three items I tried. Didn't use my pink ball yet. I'll keep it. Just in case, our next lot is Lever Poste. Lever Poste. I presume this is Lever Pate, but guys, guys, can you explain me one thing? Why we have a face of the kit on the packaging of this pate? Can you drop me a comment what's the reason to choose this for Lever Pate? Anyway, I'm trying it. It looks a little bit like cat food. And it smells like a cat food. Oh my god, where's my pig ball? I'm joking. <laughs> it's actually really nice. Let me try again. So, next, I have some fish starter. Okay, so that looks super strange. Caviar in a tube. Where are you? Seriously, guys, this many? It's all caviar in a tube. Which one should I go for? Right, this one says original. Let's go for original one. It says caviar, but it's in a tube. So if I didn't see the sign caviar, I would thought that it could be a toothpaste for the size. Family size toothpaste. And it also has this cute little thing to open up the... Okay. Oh, it's really so nice. Next up, bur mackerel. It's mackerel in tomato sauce, I believe. I found how to use my pupil. It smells like fish in tomato sauce. I must admit that the sauce is much richer. You can clearly feel the taste of tomatoes and fish aftertaste. If you really like this video, don't forget to hit like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And our um, last fish starter, let me try to read it. Silda Kongen. Silda Kongen. Silda Kongen. Norsk Kvalitet Sild. It smells like heavy. Actually, that's a great present. It was our starter. Shall we move to our main course? Pizza Grandiosa. I was told yesterday in the supermarket that this particular one is the most popular pizza in Norway. It's a huge selection of frozen pizza here, guys. But I was told that Grandiosa is the most traditional one here. So I'm getting the most popular Grandiosa pizza in Norway. As it says in the packaging, 24 million of Grandiosa pizzas are sold every year in Norway. 24 million, just to remind you, the population of the country is 5 million. 225 degrees, as it's mentioned on the packaging. 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes of counting. Thank you, Siri. You're welcome. In this pizza, it used exactly the same cheese I was trying. Jausberg, it gives me a little bit of hope. My opinion, my opinion, I would not call it pizza grandiosa, I would call it pizza grandiosa from Norway. It is nice, it is simple, but not my cup of tea. But maybe I should just try a different flavor. By the way, what's your favorite flavor of grandiosa pizza? Which one do you like more? If you like to know more about life in Norway and travel around Norway, consider subscribing to my channel. And definitely my favorite part, dessert, guys. Now we're going to try some sweet things I got from Norwegian supermarket. And I personally would like to start with these two guys. It's not just a sweet drink and the chocolate. It's a part of Norwegian soul. People here don't go hiking without these two guys. I personally took this couple all the way from Oslo to Arctic Circle. Part of Norwegian soul. Quick lunch chocolate. Actually, it does taste like Kit Kat. What? My stomach! What the hell is this? 
Okay, okay, it doesn't taste like Kit Kat. Kit Kat tastes like Norwegian quick lunch. Are we happy now? This is a chocolate milk with a mousse. Is it mousse milk? Usually it's too shit. Oh, wow. Interesting. You know what? I will actually try it with my morning coffee. It's more sweet. You know that quick lunch, the brand is Freya, which is really famous in Norway. And my advice, if you're famous chocolatier or just producing chocolate, I would like to enter Norwegian market with your product. Freya will be a very difficult competitor to beat. First of all, it has a huge market share. Second, Norwegian people are very loyal towards Freya. Freya has all possible chocolate brands, starting from big chocolate bars. Similar thing to Nandams. You need to be really creative and deliver exquisite quality to switch the customers from this yours which is not really possible i think so now i'm going to try it it's even instruction how you should open this chocolate mm. oh my god i love this one so much this is definitely number one present because it's so tasty this is really good next i was told in my local supermarket i should try this one i'm a little bit concerned because it says salt on the packaging question to you guys especially those of you who are from norway or who are currently living in norway guys why are you putting salt everywhere why everything you buy in norway has to contain salt why why this is cool guys this is one of those things you cannot stop eating until you finish them Completely. The person who invented this, you're not my friend. And of course, I could not miss this one. We're getting closer and closer to Easter, so that's why I got also Freya, the same brand, Oreo chocolate egg. How cute this is! It's a little chocolate egg. Wow, it's a milk chocolate egg. Inside it's mousse, tastes like Oreo biscuit. If you're a fan of Oreo biscuits, definitely go for this recipe. I started understanding why Freya is so popular in Norway. It is addictive. The last thing, weirdest thing I got in Norway. Protein snack, dried fish. I got in Lofoten last summer. I didn't try it yet, I'm going to do it right now, right in front of you. Oh. Actually, it's not bad at all, guys. This is really nice. This is something very traditional. It's coming from all the way from Arctic Circle. And um, if you didn't try any sort of dry fish and you're planning to go to Arctic Circle, don't miss your chance. Give it a try. I have to tell you a secret. I actually used my cube ball. Nothing dangerous. Surprisingly, I liked 95% of Norwegian snacks. I bought in the local supermarket. Thank you so much guys for watching my video until the end. Stay safe, stay warm and I'm going to finish my business here.